Hi guys, welcome to RPA Stuff. In today's video, we are going to learn remaining PDF automation actions in Automation Anywhere A360. Our first action is Encrypt Document Action. As the name suggests, it is used to convert our PDF file into a password-protected file. I am going to encrypt following test PDF file in this demo. Let us copy the path and specify it in required section. As you can see, there are two types of passwords for encrypting a PDF file. Owner password and user password. Let's learn the difference between the two. User password allows users to perform only specific operations. It is used to provide restricted access to the file. We can disable basic functions like printing and copying the file. Owner password on other hand allows user to perform all default operations that were available before encryption. For demo purpose I will be using insecure string, it is recommended to use credential vault for storing passwords. Please note that user password and owner password should be different. I will be selecting only print permission for user password access. Automation Anywhere allows us to select three different encryption level. We can also assign PDF property to dictionary variable if required. Provide path to save encrypted file. Use overwrite function if required. Now let us save and run the bot. To check output, we will open the file using both password. If we open the file using user password and check permissions, we can see only print permission is available. Now let us open the file with owner password. As you can see, we have all default permissions available that were present before encrypting. Our next action is decrypt documents. We will be decrypting same file which we encrypted in our previous example. First let us provide file path of encrypted document. It is recommended to use variables to store file path, but for demo purpose I am providing it directly. We can use both user password and owner password to decrypt document. Credential Vault is preferred way to provide password, you can check out my video to learn how to use Credential Vault. Provide path to store decrypted file. Check the overwrite function if required. We can also store PDF properties in dictionary variable. Now let us save and run the bot. As you can see our bot has ran successfully and has decrypted our file. Our next action is merge documents. We are going to merge all files present in input folder with the file present in output folder. Take a loop action and select iterator as each file in the folder. Provide input folder path in the section shown. Create a dictionary variable to store file name and extension during each iteration of loop. Add merge document action inside loop.
Click on Add PDF Document button and provide the path of file present in Output folder. If the file is password protected, then specify the password. You can also select specific pages in case you don't want to merge all pages from the document. Again click on Add PDF Document button and provide dynamic path for documents present in Input folder. To provide dynamic path, we will use our dictionary variable with key name. Dictionary variable with key extension in file path. To store output of this action I will use same file name as the file present in output folder and enable the overwrite checkbox. Now let us save and run the bot. Our bot has ran successfully and has merged all three documents as expected. If you are finding this video informative please like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel for more such informative video. More than 80% of my viewers are not subscribing to my channel. Please subscribe, as it motivates me to cover topics on my channel. Now let us learn to demerge PDF documents. We will using output of merge document example for this demo. Add split document action from PDF package. Specify the path of source file path. Add password if your file is password protected. In output file creation options, we have option to split documents using user specific number of pages per extracted document. We can also specify custom page ranges for each split. There is also an option to split document on basis of blank pages in between document. Similarly document can be split using bookmarks present. Now add folder path to save output of demerger. In file prefix section, add a suitable prefix you want to add to each demerged document. Prefix will be followed by natural numbers as per number of documents created due to split. We can check overwrite checkbox and create dictionary variable to store PDF properties if required. Now let us save and run the bot. Our bot ran successfully and has split the document correctly. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel.